Is it working? Is anybody there? Hi. Hey guys, I'm Siafalos from NBC5. I'm this main sports anchor at NBC5, and this is Mindy Arndt. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. All right, we are at the Ivy Room here in Chicago at the Purple Asparagus, Purple by Night. It's the second annual Purple by Night event, and we're out here to have a good time and to educate people and to raise a ton of money to help kids in the Chicago land area. Uh, Harmony Health is the primary sponsor of this event, as is NBC5 Chicago, and let's get right into it, Mindy. Yeah. So what is Purple Asparagus? How did you get involved, and what do you do for Purple Asparagus? Yeah, um, so Purple Asparagus is a local nonprofit in Chicago, and what they work to do is um, provide nutrition education um, for kindergarten, first, and second graders in CPS schools. So what I do for them is I started about 10 months ago um, assisting because I'm new to the area and I was really I found them online and just thought they were this great organization um, and I just started assisting in the classroom so what that means is I go into the classroom um, and actually get to work with directly with the students after passing a thorough background check of course. <laughs> um, I didn't pass one to get this gig tonight <laughs> but that's okay I think you're okay. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, so, and in that time, um, I've just gotten more and more involved in the organization. So now I actually lead um, my own group of students. So I go on once a month, and we have a featured ingredient, and I talk to the kids about uh, what this ingredient is, something fun about it. So this month we're doing root vegetables, which you think, like, what kind of first grader wants to talk about root vegetables? But sweet potato chips are included in that, okay. so they're pretty excited about that. <laughs> So we read a book about it, we talk about um, what kind of nutritious um, things are in those ingredients, um, and then we, we taste. So this month we did a tasting of carrots and celery root, which was the first time I tasted celery root too, so it's pretty... What you think? I like it. It's okay? I like it a lot. All right. um, but I, I like most vegetables, so I'm not a tough sell. Uh, but the kids liked it a lot too. It's so exciting to see them be so brave to try something so is there, weird. Is there, is there any uh, any resistance from the kids? I want to say there's like five percent resistance. That's it. Which to me is really impressive. Yeah. Um, we set it up. Our Purple Asparagus is great in how they developed the program, but they really enable kids to try it and feel brave and empowered by it. So you should come to my house and get to get my eight-year-old. Right. I have a two-year-old right now, so I'm working on it from okay, a different angle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I get it. But yeah, so that's exactly the point. It's like for eight-year-olds, you know, there's so much fear about trying something that's unrecognizable. Is it is it fear or just hard-headedness, I wonder? Is it oh, just probably stubborn? a little bit of both. It's yeah. like your control, for right, sure. Right, right. I feel like that's what my two-year-old is telling me. <laughs> no. I'm in control in this right. one area, so <laughs> let me have it. So anyway, so they get to taste some of the root vegetables, and then we make a couple of recipes with it, too. And I have to say, the kids are excited, like cheering and clapping when we get to it. And I mean, like, again, it's root vegetables, so this month the recipe was like a carrot taco. I mean, that's like wow. savory. So shredded carrot and a lettuce cup with like some olive oil and cumin. Um, so this is like, again, the first time I tried it, I was like, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> it's delicious, by the way, and you should get the recipe on the website. Um, but the kids love it. And then we do a juice, and we really emphasize that these are nutrient-dense things. And we really want the kids to know that there's a, there's a big space between yucky and I love it. Yeah. So we talk a lot about like, oh, is it crunchy? Is it sweet? Is it sour? So they have more words. They also start to think about it as well. Exactly. About it differently perhaps. Exactly. It's really rewarding to be with them. And, and what, what drew you to Purple Asparagus? Um, you know, my background is actually in corporate retail. And then a few years ago, I decided I wanted to do something a little more purpose with my life. And I was really passionate about nutrition. Um, and educating folks. So I went back to school and got my master's in public health. Good for you, congrats. Thanks, um, with an emphasis in nutrition. So I've kind of been working on preventing childhood obesity, like that's kind of my passion. Um, and one of the best ways Tell to do why. it. Tell us why. Because um, obesity is one of the biggest health crises that our nation is facing right now. And one of the best ways to kind of get in front of that is to help kids understand, number one, why these vegetables are so important for them. Because so many kids, you know, they have potato in the form of a french fry or tomato in the form of ketchup. Like that's their exposure. So we like to expose these kids to where they come from, um, but also show them like how fun it can be and how delicious it can be. So 
um, not only am I working with the kids, but I actually do a family program as well, where I'm working with the kids' parents and kind of showing them the program and helping them to reinforce it with their kids. And I believe there's also a component of Purple Asparagus that's not, not just about um, empowering and teaching families, children and families about eating healthy and making healthy decisions, but also how it impacts the planet, correct? Absolutely, yeah. We really want to emphasize how um, the choices we make impact the planet. So we talk about eating as close to the ground as possible. So not, not physically like <laughs> on the floor. Although kids might dig that. I mean, it might be cool and if you're on a picnic. A picnic. That, that obviously makes yeah, sense as well. Yeah, that makes a ton of so sense. So you can take it literally? You can, yeah. yeah. Carrots and hummus would be a great picnic. Yes, it would be. We talk about both of those in purple asparagus. <laughs> but eating close to the ground. Yeah, so just as simply or minimally processed as possible. So when we have them taste that celery root, like we're showing them like this is what it looks like when it comes out of the ground, and we're going to cut it up and you're going to taste it. So they really are tasting like this is what real food tastes like right out of the ground or right off of the plant. So tonight, obviously, is all about educating folks like Mindy just did for all of us, and we appreciate you very much doing that. Yeah. Um, but it's also about raising money because yes. we have to continue this program, keep it going, and build it, grow it, especially for next year. So our goal tonight is to raise $10,000. Uh, we have silent auction items around the room. That's what you see all these people are doing. Silent auction. There's also delicious food. They have nice tasty adult beverages they have beverages for kids as well there's some kids here um, you can actually donate on the Facebook page there's a donate button you can click on the donate if you can't make it out tonight uh, you can also buy raffle tickets there's going to be a raffle later tonight that we're going to announce winners of so we've got great prizes food we turned the music off so we could talk to you without yelling but there's great music as well and uh, it looks to be a great fun event sorry you can't be here we're trying to include you but um Check out this video, donate some money, yes. and get involved. Yeah, help these kids. This is such a great program. They absolutely love it. They cheer for us when we walk in the building. I and we're giving them stuff like celery root, and they still cheer for us. I don't even make my kids eat celery root, and they don't cheer for me when I walk into the room. So you guys are doing something right. Yeah, I think so. All right. See you guys later. Thanks for joining Thank us. You.